How's it going? Hope the bike's in frame. We've had a thousand miles on the bike. Um, so I'm just going to give a little update. Talk. Hopefully this bike works. It's a new one. Who knows? Uh, so, a uh, thousand miles on the bike uh, in like a month and a half. So I've been riding the hell out of it. Um, as I should. Uh, I went on like a two and a half hour uh, ride on uh, Sunday with Jared. And um, it went fantastic. Uh, bike didn't, I didn't feel fatigue. I wasn't tired. Um, I thought maybe I would with the whole upright position, but I mean, it was, it's, it was fantastic. I really had no complaints. Um, so I'm sure I could do easy four or five hour ride. No problem. Um, go even farther and take this thing everywhere. Um, so super cool, super happy with it. Um, no regrets after a thousand miles, no regrets. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a peach. On the other hand, I did happen to get 45 uh, MPG, which was incredible. I uh, was stoked with that. That was a mixture of like uh, mountains and uh, highway. So it's possible. And I'm sure with a tune and an intake, it will be better, but who knows? Um, regardless, it was it was great. It was super fun. Uh, I'll oh, fuck do it again. Um, we got stuck behind cars, of course, so like the more enjoyable parts, uh, I got screwed. So, classic. Classic, classic. And they were all Hondas, so say no to Honda. Quick update for everybody. Um, I know in one of the videos I was complaining about my Shoei, my uh, RF 1400. Yeah, that is fully resolved. Um, apparently, um, on this, there are screws on like the, I don't know what they're called, latches? Latch parts? <laughs> Um, and you adjust them and you can put the face shield closer on the rubber gaskets <sighs> That was my problem um, It was not adjusted at all uh, And yeah, there was a bunch of air getting in so I was like why the hell is this louder than my $250 Adichie helmet? That answers it. So yeah, adjusted those went on that ride Beautiful I was super stoked with it One thing that I do want to update on is the Bluetooth now I've stopped using it and for one reason and one reason only because it goes, why am I doing that? Uh, because it goes through the Bluetooth module and then to your helmet, audio quality is terrible. And I find myself to be somewhat of a audiophile, meaning I like high quality, um, you know, music. It just, it sounds like you're talking, you're, it just, uh, it's, it's bad. So if you don't mind that, then you're good. But I mean, the maps is cool. The maps works. I mean, that's that's a pretty cool feature to have, but I mean, quad lock. So like, it's really not necessary. The only reason I ha even have it on the bike is because it was a gift. Um, and I mean, I, it, it's cool for what it is. I just wish I didn't have to have the, it connected to the bike and then the helmet connected to the I wish it wasn't like a loop system. I wish that it would just work to where I could just still change the song and the audio it's it's annoying you can change the song which so that i mean i still use that you could change the song but you can't um you can't change the volume unless it's being tethered from the bike to the helmet but if you go from helmet to phone it's stupid confusing they didn't need to make it that hard but i guess that's just where technology is right about now yeah over the past week i've been experiencing a a few false neutrals going from first to second um, and I don't know if it's just because I'm tired from running all day it's probably not it but I find myself hitting that sweet spot where it's like click and then it's like where to go um, my uh, gear shift support thing from race torques got delivered on the 20th 20th 17th um, and I just didn't check the damn mailbox, so that's my fault. So I've had it for this whole time, and I just haven't, fuck, I haven't checked. Um, so I'll be installing that probably over the weekend, and then I'll make a video on that, give you guys my thoughts on it, because I don't see too many. Um, but I love it on my Trident, so I'm sure I'm going to love it on my Street Triple. Another thing, I for sure want heated grips. Uh, now, I know it's pretty much summer, and it, and it looks warm out. It was cold and I couldn't talk about it in that video, but dude, I was shivering. I was, mm, oh man, it was bad. It was bad. And I was wearing decent gloves. Those BMW gloves aren't like super mesh. Um, so 
I mean, my it's not my ha my hands weren't like terribly cold. It was my arms from this uh, Revit jacket. It was just mesh, and I stupidly forgot a jacket. My fault. I just wanted to touch on that, um, but it made me want the heated grips even more. You saw me grab the uh, the Triton's heated because that has the heated grips. You saw me go over there and grab that, so I needed to. It was so damn cold, so 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 cold. So I hope the mic works. Uh, I'd be annoyed if it didn't, and then I really got to rethink everything because maybe I'm talking too loud. Maybe I have it positioned badly. I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out when I get home and, and <laughs> look over this recording. Um, I did happen to grab a new set of gloves um, the other day at the dealership because my friend, Samir, bought a bike. His first bike. Um, no, I couldn't talk him into Triumph. Uh, he's not a big Triumph guy like me, but he did buy a Honda, a CBR 600 RR. So super, super stoked for him on that. I'm gonna have some fun riding. Um, can't wait uh, for that. But yeah, I got some Alpine Stars. I think these are Chromes. I don't know if they fit me. They felt comfy. Um, I don't know. They have, you know, the knuckle armor. I don't even know if it's in frame. Knuckle armor on here, and then they have, this isn't like hard, but I mean, it's something. It's temporary they were like $60 on sale or something like that um so yeah comfy and they're mediums because I've worn large the entire time my hands aren't large even though I thought they were so I put on the mediums and they just felt right at home so uh pretty cool okay I'm gonna hop on the bike and we're gonna go ride around and I have a couple more talking points but it should be overall pretty quick video Oh, look at all the geese. Hello. Hello. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell the difference. Uh, I got a new ND filter. This isn't the type that like gets pressed over the, the stock like lens thing on the GoPro. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's a full replacement. So I find these to be a little better because it's not glass on glass, more plastic on glass. Uh, so we'll see. I hope the, it comes out good. This is an ND8. Uh, it's not super sunny today. I mean, it is, but like, I feel like you never need to use more than that. Uh, it's just my own personal thing. But, um, <laughs> but um, even though, um, first thing I'll talk about is what I was just praising uh, the, about the 45 MVG is uh, you just don't get a good MVG with this. It's not terrible. It's kind of what you expect. Like uh, my Audi S4, uh, it's stage two and it's, it's a quick thing. Um, I get like 20, 25, 30, maybe if I try. So it's nothing crazy, nothing to write home about, but uh, I mean, the MPG could be better and it's obviously it's me. I have a heavy throttle hand, but you know, whatever. Another thing I'm not too uh, happy with is the inability to do things um, without the dealer involved. Um, not that I don't like going to the dealer, but every time I go there, I spend money. Um, and I feel like since I bought the bike, right? Like you buy the bike, you buy it brand new. Even if you like, if you bought a used one, sure, but you bought the bike brand new, right? Paying them the interest on it, right? They're making more money than what the loan really is, and it's just it's stupid but I think that you should have the option to get like free features added. Like that's what stops me from doing a lot of this stuff. I mean, other than, you know, the pricing, like the stupid, um, uh, the cruise control, right? It's like 300 or something dollars, I think, which is baffling to say the least, it's baffling. Um, but then I still gotta go to the dealer to do it, right? And that goes to the, um, the service light. Um, and now I know that could be fixed when uh, or if to an ECU uh, ever updates their system because um, right now I don't think it works for a Euro 5 or at least that's what um, the guys on Facebook say uh, but once that becomes a thing and maybe all my problems will uh, or I guess concerns with that will go away but for now man I'm just I'm tired of it the Bluetooth thing I think it's just it's kind of gimmicky like if you don't want your phone like how mine is uh, just kind of like with the, the, the step mount if you don't want it like that then I could see uh, its benefits, but like, I don't know, man, it just doesn't seem super, like, useful. Like, I guess, I mean, if you don't want, like I said, if you don't want to use your phone, then sure, why not? But, come on, <laughs> could have better features at least. Like, the text is kind of hard to navigate. Not that you should look at your text while riding, 
but it's like if your phone is right in front of your TFT like mine is, there's literally no point to it. Uh, so I have this like cheap, I guess, uh, like Amazon special for the photochromatic lens for the RF 1400. Uh, and I will say it works better than I thought it would. Now, my Sedici one, um, that I think was like $129 uh, from Cycle Gear, maybe $119, uh, that one works terrific. Uh, and I'd say that this one works just as good. Uh, I just couldn't find any of the showy ones in stock. GTR. Uh, I just couldn't find any of the showy branded ones in stock, and I really didn't spend like, or I really didn't feel like spending an extra $200 when I just spent six on a helmet. It just didn't sound appealing to me at all. Uh, so, yeah, no, the, the Amazon one, I'll put a link for it if you guys are interested. Um, I'll put a link for it in the uh, description, but it's just like some, like, I don't know, China special. Nothing crazy, but... Uh, yeah, no, it works fantastic. Like, it's bright and sunny out, and I, it feels like I have a tinted visor, but when I was in the uh, forest the other day, and we were just cruising, it got clear. And I could visibly like see it getting clear, which was fun. Uh, so I have the bike home with me uh, for the weekend. So, uh, or not weekend, sorry, week. I took it home just to see uh, how it would be in my garage, uh, to see if I would actually like ride it. The problem is, is the hills are over there. Uh, which is where I keep the bike usually. Um, so it's a little bit more of a ride, not that that's a bad thing, but I mean, it's okay. It's not a problem. I get the ride and you guys get to see some different types of roads and there's not necessarily, I don't, this isn't really a riding video. This is more of just like an update and I need to test the mic and I wanted to see how the, the new uh, GoPro filter worked. Um, and just get out and stretch my legs. I've been working since 7 a.m. It's 4, I think, 4.30, so I'm tired. I just wanted to ride. The work was not permitting me to do so. So there's a fun road right here for a little bit of turns. And, oh, ha, nice. If I remember correctly, I think this is right, right? All right. I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know, I know it was a quick one, uh, and it wasn't fun riding, but... Uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm soaked to hit a thousand miles. Uh, congrats to my buddy for buying his first bike. Uh, we'll be have riding videos soon, I assume. Um, and yeah, those are just a little some things that I just uh, dislike, I guess, about the bike. I was gonna make a more formal video on it, but I decided that there's not a lot of things that I, I truthfully dislike about this bike. So I hope this works. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great one. Goodbye.